So it continues trying not to let Trump become the next president of the United States. This should be a crime. They're willing to play dirty, man. I said it yesterday. This is a crime, bro. They are willing to play dirty to get what they want. So what happened in civil court, you probably won't believe. It is crazy what you're about to witness. If you haven't seen it, here it is. What I didn't realize is, okay, he's going to all these different courts and being like face to face with all these different judges. You would think they just make it easy to get one judge all the, you know? But, but no, it's different like things he's been here with. Yeah, he's been here yeah, civil things. Sense. All type of sexual stuff. assault. He can hit with fraud. Yeah, he can hit sexual assault. Yes. So <laughs> you didn't know that? I think Trump got at least almost ninety-one charges. Probably even more than that. Ninety-one. Yeah. Yeah. He probably they have put ninety-one charges up, on him. It's bro. gonna say like ninety-one, ninety-three, I believe. Or I'm putting cases on they all play. you. <laughs> they put cases on his ass. He's this, writing up a sack right now in the courtroom. This what you're about to witness, guys, is insane. Like you show up, you want him in jail so bad that you show up to watch it. Like, look how she's looking at him. He looks pissed. He gonna smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so many smirks in the courtroom? Look. Let me take a picture. Yeah. Ugly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You're the judge, bro. This is in your hands? Yeah, he yeah. took his glasses off. He said, let me get I'm, sexy I'm for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got him. <laughs> now, this is the lady that appeared in the courtroom. It gets worse, you guys. Fundamental rights are at stake. I believe that the president of these United States can be indicted for criminal offenses. Will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to be a real pain in the He's going to know my name personally. That man in the White House. Yeah, look at them. We can't go a day brainwashed without threatening our fundamental rights. Oh. Yes, we need to focus on Donald Trump and his abuses. Oh. We need to follow his money. Oh. We need to find out where he's laundered money. We need to find out whether or not he's engaged in conspiracy. The days of Donald Trump are coming to an end. <laughs> I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every day. Wow. I will never be afraid. That might have been one of the sickest shit I've ever she seen. She said, defending your Life rights. Life was a lot better, especially for us colored folk in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> that was an insane statement. Us <laughs> colored folk. That was insane. Wow. Okay. Real, bro. So she's just trying to just. The, the taxes was way lower. Oh, we know COVID, that. what was that? If you came, if you would have came around somewhody with a mask 2018, everybody would be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Yes. Look, now it's just like if you were in a match now, even how we already figured that out. Moves, now, why we're trying to figure out what we're trying to figure out is why do they want this man in jail and not the president so bad? This is the guy that just made the smirk. It gets worse. Yeah, he look like he belong in the casket right now. Yeah, he's now I'm going to say something controversial. Even though I'm being taped, juries get it wrong a lot. That's my own opinion. I do only civil trials. Personal injury cases, contract disputes, but I've had situations where, like, oh my, my, heaven's sake, how could they have thought that? Well, I have a, um, I have a tool that I can deal with that. It's called jury notwithstanding the verdict, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. I can say there is no possible way that a reasonable jury would have reached that conclusion. That's insane. And all right, am I following the law or am I making law? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm following law, I'm, I'm an impartial referee, but it's hard to factor out my own emotions. And I have- You the judge! We can pause it this time. So you're telling me that you won't allow the jury sometimes to make the decision. You can go back and say, hey, there's no way that they thought that. Well, well let me not factor my that's emotions That's pretty concerning. The most of that, that, what he just said is, is crazy. To me. Insanely concerning. He said- That show our court. My emotions. That shows- Wait, wait, buddy. That we shows our about court system is corrupt. Lives. Yeah, that means our that shows the corruption of our court system you right there. Life. That's I'm insane. having a bad day. That might be the craziest shit I've ever heard. But it's hard to factor out my own emotions. And I have tools. Somebody can say, well, Your Honor, you have to throw out this case because it's just like another case. Well, is it just like another case? What if the defendant was wearing a red sweater instead of a blue sweater? Mm. Oh, and, and by the way. I worked for the Columbia what the Daily hell Spectator he just said? for a couple of weeks. I don't go. What happened was I went there every day and I wrote a few stories. One I got criticized 
on because I wrote that some uh, Ku Klux Klaners had murdered some people and, and I was told, you can't say that, how do we know? You weren't there. Well, that was what everybody thought. Anyway. Yeah, we should have. What's he talking about? Yeah, I don't know, bro. But the thing, so kind of um, that's how it usually comes up. We need more you know, context. Calls Let him go. He's somebody a murderer or a heroin addict, that sort of thing, a pedophile. And if it's done in court, yeah, I think we should have absolute immunity. But why he brought up the red and blue coat? I don't know, brother. That, he basically was trying to make a point. Saying, like, like, I can find a loophole in any way I want to. Yeah. If I want something to go one way, it's going to go that way. It's basically what I got from that. Wow. Yes. And it's hard to factor out my own emotions. I ain't going to lie. Just to see this happening to Trump. How many niggas has this happened to? I lied. That's why I'm just... Millions. Wow. Bro, think it's about real. this, bro. Like, he just said off deny. his emotions. I didn't deny. <laughs> the system really trying to stop Trump. So that led me know as a free thinking man why will you try your hardest to stop a man that wanted good for I think a country they also said marnie lago that's in florida right is Mar that yeah. Lago? yeah where's that in florida yeah. yeah they said that that might be worth 18 million or something like, it's like they don't got no facts right, bro like y'all think that that's only worth 18 million we maybe we'll hear that in one of these things but uh well, it this probably is, is you could look that stuff up stuff like that up because they have appraisals of property and stuff you could look that up okay let's see what former president has to say this is him in the civil court thank you very much this is a continuation of the single greatest witch hunt of all time we have a rogue judge who rules that properties are worth a tiny fraction one one hundred a tiny fraction of what they actually are we have a racist attorney general who's a horror show who ran on the basis that she was going to get Trump before she even knew anything about He's talking about the black lady. She yeah. used this to run for governor. She failed in her attempt to run for governor. She had virtually no polling. She came back and she said, well, now I'll go back to get Trump again. And this is what we have. It's a scam. It's a sham. Just so you know, my financial statements are phenomenal. They are actually less in terms of the numbers used than the actual net worth. The actual net worth is substantially more. No bank was affected, no bank was hurt. They don't even know why they have to be involved. And they've so testified. They can't believe that they're involved because they were paid back on time. There were no defaults, there were no problems. And it was like a perfect client. In the meantime, people are being murdered all over the sidewalks of New York. There was no victim here. The banks were represented by the best, biggest, most prestigious law firms in the state of New York, actually in the country. Some of the biggest and best law firms, in all cases, the biggest and best law firms. That's who represented them. The banks got back their money. Again, there was never a default. There was never a problem. Everything was perfect. There was no crime. The crime is against me because we have a corrupt district attorney but we have a corrupt attorney general and it all comes down from the doj they totally coordinated this in washington because i'm leading i'm the leading candidate i'm leading biden by 10 points and i'm leading the republicans by 50 and 60 points that's pretty much they say over i never accept that but they say it's over this has to do with election interference plain and simple they're trying to damage me so that I don't do as well as I'm doing in the election. Our country's gone to hell. We have a country that's in decline, serious decline. We have a man running our country who has no clue, doesn't know what he's doing, and you know it better than anybody because you have to cover him. What they've done with open borders, what they've done with interest rates, and taxes. Oh, yeah. It's a Definitely disgrace. That. So what we and have taxes. here is an attempt to hurt me in an election. I feel like it's promoting you more, though. Be in an election. No key. This never happened before, where President of the United States leaves office and gets indicted. And the reason I got indicted was that I ran. If I didn't run, I'd be sitting right now at a beach like Biden does every time, even though he's supposed to be working. <laughs> so very simply put, it's a witch hunt. It's a disgrace. We have a corrupt attorney general in this state. You see how she does? This trial was railroaded and fast-tracked. This trial could have been brought years ago, but they waited till I was right in the middle of my campaign. The same with other trials and indictments. It's all run by DOJ, which is corrupt in Washington. Everything goes through them. 
They're all corrupt people. Frankly, our country is corrupt. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. We're going to straighten it out. Let's do it! Property that's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times what this judge put down as a value. Put down a value, $18 million. And the property's probably worth, could be anywhere from 50 to 100 times more than that. And a lot of those numbers could even be low. We have other properties, the same thing. So he devalued everything. I didn't even put in, didn't put in my best asset, which is the brand, in terms of value. Coca-Cola, take a look at their value. They have a value. Brand. The value of their brand is more than everything else put together. His, his brand. My brand is extremely valuable. I didn't even use it in my financial statement. If I wanted to build up a financial statement, I would have built it up by using brand in addition to everything else. We've yeah, but I don't see what devaluing the property could do to help them, though. Something maybe to they're do trying with to mess fraud. with him any way they can. But yeah, yeah, it's something to do with fraud, definitely. Oh, yeah, maybe they're saying he, he did some type of, like, yeah, like y'all saying, fraud with through the through the place, and they're saying you should have paid this much on something or this and that, and you didn't or whatever. Okay, Trump's son speaks out on Fox News about what he thinks. He has another guys. son, Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, I heard when well, he's like super tall, like six. I don't fucking know. I heard he's like 16. I, I don't <laughs> think that's accurate. No, what? Somebody 16? said that. I don't think that's uh, accurate. Uh, Trump. The Lakers need him. Nah, he's not 16, but I was exaggerating. He's 6'7. That's the youngest. <laughs> that's, that's tall as fuck. Reaction. He's from the Trump Organization. He's involved in this case. It is a national disgrace. Eric Trump, glad to have you back, sir. It's great to be on, Sean. I, you know, I don't even know where to begin. I'm giving minor examples of tiny little properties going for 200, 250 million in Palm yeah. Beach. I'm talking about dirt going for 150 million. You have 20 yeah. some odd acres, an iconic property, intercoastal, dirt going ocean. For how, much? how is it possible yeah. this judge can do the very thing that they are accusing you, your brother, and your father of doing? They putting the family in it? No way. Because, Sean, they don't care. They don't care about the details. mar lago is one of the most valuable properties anywhere in the world, <laughs> worth well over a billion dollars. He says it's worth over a billion, and they're saying it's worth 18 million. Yeah, but I don't see why. So they devalued his properties. That's such a big discrepancy, though. They're going to use it against him in the fraud. Like, oh, your property's only worth 18, but you reported all these things. That's well, yeah, that could be, so yeah. he was doing fraud. They trying their hardest. And I, I'm trying to support the property, fraud case. Intercoastal, ocean. How is it possible yeah. this judge can do the very thing that they are accusing you, your brother, and your father of doing. Because, Sean, they don't care. They don't care about the details. mar lago is one of the most valuable properties anywhere in the world, worth well over a billion dollars. Look at the portfolio of properties. They're incredible. And there's no one that's done more for the New York City skyline than Donald Trump. We hire literally and employ thousands and thousands of workers. But those details don't matter to these monsters. You know why? Because these monsters want to have my father in a courthouse, they want to have my father oh spend my tens God. and tens and tens of millions of dollars. So he's distracted. So he can't be in South Carolina and he can't be in Iowa and he can't be in Nevada. And he can't be prosecuting they Joe Biden for being the worst president in the history of this country. And you know what? These people won't bring up the fact that we have unbelievable relationships with our banks. Every single one of our banks has made hundreds of millions of dollars on our organization. <laughs> We've never been in default. We've never missed a payment. We've never gotten a nasty letter. We've got great relationships with all of them. We've done an unbelievable job. And coincidentally, there's only two assets that we've actually ever sold, with, which both went for hundreds of millions of dollars more than my father had them listed for in the statement of financial condition. And then I get to walk into court and, and see records where Mar-a-Lago is listed at $18 million. It's a joke. I literally sit there and I say, which tennis court, Sean? You know, <laughs> that's not why the attorney general is doing this. No, like right. Remember when she was running for attorney general in 2018, and she literally starts coming news. out. Her whole platform that she raised money on was, I'm going to go after Donald Trump. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get his family. I'm going to force them out of New York. You know, and it's, it's a travesty. When you see the amount of buildings my father has built, he has redefined the skyline of New York City. She we employ scared. thousands of people. And these aren't executives. These are, you know, maids. These are engineers. These are security officers. And they come in there and say, I want to take away all of his business licenses because we don't like the man. We try and embarrass him during a presidential year. It's election interference. It's disgusting. New York has the worst problems of any city, arguably, in the country. It's dirty. It's crime ridden. You've got illegal immigration problems all over the place. And this is what the attorney general spends her time on, going after a guy who has put more money they priorities. assets. <laughs> Not a lot. He's making a lot of points. An yes. amazing American city than Donald Trump. 
all because he's a political adversary? It's disgusting. And to bring the family into it who had nothing to do with any of this, I mean, Sean, this should be illegal in the United States of America. This is what they do in communist Russia. This is what they do in Venezuela. You know, and it shouldn't happen. And believe me, and I've said this to you before, it's all coming from the top, Sean. It's all coming from Joe Biden because they want to take out the guy who is otherwise going to beat him in 2024. Everybody's going to beat Joe Biden. I feel like I can beat Joe Biden. <laughs> They're investigating whether our hey, FBI hey. and DOJ Still a lot of people. at the top, not right. rank and file, have been weaponized and politicized. This is the weaponization of justice. And th th this is now going to go on. You know, it's now October. A, a year from now, we'll be on the verge of a, a presidential election. And they want to put your dad basically the entire year in a courtroom, you know, in, in venues where I can almost assure you, Eric, I don't want to give you news you don't want to hear. You already know your dad can't get a fair trial in New York. He's not going to get a fair trial in D.C. or Fulton County, Georgia, for that matter. So it's OK. We'll have you know, what, Sean, what, I, I give the judge I, I give I give the judge this afternoon credit. I really do. In the last five minutes, he really. You know, he pretty much said, he came out and said pretty clearly that many of the cases or many of the claims are knocked out because they fell well before the statute of limit, uh, limitations. So I, g I give the guy a lot of credit in trying to do the right thing oh, in really? the final minutes. Eric, I think people are understanding exactly. A five, Eric, a five-minute Google search would have shown him that evaluation <laughs> of Mar-a-Lago was asinine. You don't have to be a genius, Eric. I agree. I listen, I, Sean. There's no question. A five-minute Google search would, and you know, to, to look at Mar-a-Lago as being valued at 18 million dollars is a joke. In fact, every real way, estate I, broker I'll, I'll, I'll buy it in the state of Florida it, or, or 18 million. About I'll this buy stuff. it and sell it and make hundreds of millions. I'll I'll be able to retire. It'd be like hitting the lotto. And I'm not joking about it because it's not funny. Um, I'm sorry you're going through this. This is wrong. You know, you, we can't have attorney generals targeting people in campaigns and then doing it in court. This is not justice in America. That is not constitutional law in America. Uh, please update us but on this case. They've done it since day one. Yeah. Sean, they did it since day one. Since the minute my father came down that escalator, they went after him. The Washington Post, literally 10 minutes after he got the call from Hillary Clinton, when she conceded, the Washington Post said, this is when the impeachment of Donald Trump begins. You're right. And they have never stopped between the impeachments and between Kavanaugh and perfect phone calls. You know, the, the Russia hoax, the hell that they've put our family through. And when they realized they couldn't do it at the executive branch, guess what? They moved to state AGs and district attorneys in the most far left Democratic areas in the entire country to do what New they York. failed to do in Washington, D.C. And it's a hell our family lives every day. And I am so thankful I've got the toughest father in the world <sighs> to fight this crap for what it is. And you know what, Sean? He's going to win. I mean, he's going to win. I'm telling you, people understand the sham for what I, it is. I hope you're right, Eric, because the, the, the deck stacked against him. They're literally yeah, they, right. They're throwing History everything they got at him. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how he's still shit standing. Crazy. I don't know how all of you are still standing. It, it, it's if just I'm not right, Sean, morally we don't have a corrupt and wrong. It, we, we, we're losing the country. They're handling it pretty That's good. That's all there is to it. We I'll be pissed. If he doesn't win, we will dad. not have a country, because this won't stop. And these other Republicans, they'll never be able to carry the weight that my father's carried, never. They don't right. have the backbone. They don't have the willpower. They don't have the voice. I, 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 they certainly I, I, don't have the. Well, I, I don't the even popular. know why he bothers. I mean, it's, I, at some point you got to say, I got to, you know, I don't know. Eric, good to see you. I'm sorry you're You'll going through quit. this. All right, y'all. We're gonna find out the truth one day. I got, happen. I got weird. I got weird. You think Tucker's right about the, you know, the next thing they might go to? What? What is that? Just with that iron. Tell, bro. Who that, said he said that? Tucker said that. They, they said they. First they like decred you, then they arrest you, then they kill you. Tucker I said they finna and might hit him with that iron. Happen. I if pray they hit, that doesn't happen, but he probably got some elite security though. Know? He got the secret service. He got he's done for life. But yeah. like if that happens, oh. that let me know. It's just yeah, we, we that'll, still that'll expose it all. But I feel like everything's gonna be exposed sooner or later. If he wins president, it's gonna be exposed. If he goes to jail, I mean Whoever become the next president you need to prosecute. Really, I, they really, really write a book though, like because we're going from is he going to jail to he the president. I probably That'll be crazy. in 2090. They're gonna be reading the book. This man was see the people looking <laughs> in the outside in. We really don't know if he did anything corrupt because one of them charges might hit. This one is insane. This one's not. But gonna 90, hit, definitely. 91 charges, but all like, blue counties. That does show that they're doing something crazy. It's just right? like Atlanta is a blue county. If you county. see a bunch of ones that are sticking in a row, it just starts to seem like okay. Right before election year. <sighs>
Everything so is always right election before election year. Next, next year. It's next year. Yeah, yeah it's the 24th. And the fact now I'm but pissed the, off that Chris Christie even said, no, this guy should be here. He was like, what this guy doing? He still speaks in different states. So you yeah, want him to court. speak in different states and go to court? And come up there and argue with y'all? Bro, if he was up there, all they would do is jab about it all the court cases. Trump show. That's all yeah. they would do is just jab be the, at him. the Donald Trump show if he it went on there. He's, tr- he's smart not for going to the news. Yeah, he's no. really right. Who would go there? Okay, guys, let us know what y'all think in the comments. This is this is just insane, guys. But and for all those, it's a lot of Democrat YouTube channels out there. Trump just lost in court today. That shit's so annoying. Because, like, we just seen the evidence here. They need to find four dudes who do what we do, but for the, and you know, and we're going to fight. And then, then we then we'll see. The little black guy on TikTok. I think about that guy all the time. Like, what dude on get, TikTok? Oh, guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The we one that get hot in emotion. Yeah, we need to he find hates him. me. Oh, my. Oh my gosh. We need we to find him in our The guy the hates me on TikTok. The, the black guy on TikTok from Chicago that was like mad at us about the racism video, the Candace Owens video. He don't like us. Uh, you know who we're talking about. Yeah, fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. So uh, those those channels are just freaking annoying, guys. All right. We see the proof here. Y'all know what to do.